Well, you know, I mean, I basically was done acting uh, before I got New Girl. Um, I'd sort of, I'd, I'd pretty much quit. And uh, there was an audition I had right before the New Girl audition after I had quit, <laughs> which the only reason I wasn't doing something else is because I had given myself no backup plan. I had no skills. I had no trade. I had no schooling. Um, and, uh, and I was trying to figure out something else to do. And in the meantime, like a couple auditions were like trickling in. And there was one that was right before New Girl, which I was like, I'm perfect for this. And I went in and I read it for the people. And they were like, oh, thanks so much. I go, that can't be the reaction. I'm obviously the, I'm obviously the guy. And uh, I remember going back and, then, and calling my agent. And the agent was like, yeah, they liked you. And I go, hey, Anne? And they go, yeah, that's, that's about it. And I go, I'm going to tell them I'd like to come back in. So two days, and they were like, I mean, all right. So two days later, I went back in. I gave the same audition. They had the same response. And at that point, I was like, I'm now real done. And it, I was like, I remember it just being fully, fully in my mind done. And that next week was the New Girl audition. And, I, and you know, I had an incredible audition. The writing on that was so good. So it was easy to be great in it. Um, and it was just one of those moments. So, like, there was a level of confidence that came from that, um, a, a huge level of validation, because I had been doing it for so long and had failed so many times uh, before that. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, like, okay. I w so this was I, was, I had been getting so, so, so close on so many different jobs and not getting it, and then f to get this one and to receive you know, such incredible, such an incredible response was really validating. It just was like, nice to know I wasn't crazy. Um, that's basically what it was. And then, uh, and yeah, I mean, it set everything, it set everything up from there. It's the, it's, it's the job that I will always point to as the beginning of everything and the one that I will always be the most grateful for. No, oh, thanks. And characters like Schmidt come around very rarely. Well, it was really <laughs> funny. Uh, I, I happened to find the pitch page that Liz Merriweather had put together before she had written the script. Or maybe she had written the script. I don't know either or. But like, I guess when you're writing a pilot, I don't know that you still do it, but you put together this pitch page. And it's like what? It's, it's maybe two or three pages on what the show is, what it's about, where it's going. And then there's these character descriptions. And they're long. Uh, and I rem and and I had found it several years into doing the show, and I remember reading the Schmidt character and being d like deeply uh, I don't know what the right word was, but like oh man, I guess nobody else was going to get this job. I mean, it was so it was so, it was so tailored for the type of comedy I like to do, for the type of human being I am. And I thought, wow, so I thought I was a good actor and this was just, I got really lucky. <laughs> that like some woman who I didn't know just wrote the weirdest version of me that I don't want to admit is me. 